Hi, uh, thanks for joining us again on Celebrating Act Two as two old guys review the Vintage Film Channel's product. And today our product is a fabulous early TV sitcom, Meet Corliss Archer, mm. a classic and, and pretty famous, I think, in the annals of entertainment. No, Art? Yeah, and quite frankly, I have to tell you that uh, uh, there's a, the, the, uh, the, the love interest, the teenage love interest uh, uh, who the played boyfriend. Dexter, the boyfriend Dexter, uh, which is um, uh, uh, Corliss Archer's boyfriend, uh, was played by Bobby Ellis, who has this long history. I recognized him right away before I almost recognized anybody else. Let me just start running this in the background. And yeah. um, uh, from when he played the young boy of, uh, in the uh, Babe Ruth story, he played the young Babe Ruth, to uh, Henry <laughs> Aldrich, uh, he was in that. And really, so, he played Henry Aldrich. Uh, uh, yeah, he, uh, I don't know who he played right. in that, but he was in the. Uh, yeah, he did. He, the he, series. He, yeah. Uh, uh, be, before this, but he was in dozens of television uh, movies, and then television up until the seventies. But wow. anyway, John, did you enjoy? I enjoy. I actually enjoyed it. It was a, a silly uh, teenage uh, 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 comedy. Uh, sure. Uh, here, here is uh, this is Corliss uh, sitting on the phone, really yeah, ticking her it, father off. Remember, there was one phone in the entire household, and right. the the theory and was, was the, wired, teenage, yeah. the, teen, the teenagers uh, uh, were on it all the time. Yeah, yeah. It it is you know very dated, obviously, mm -hmm. which is for me, it's the fun of these old shows. You know, this is what nineteen fifty four art, something like that, fifty four, yeah. fifty five. Right, fifty four, I think. Yeah. And, and Corliss Archer had a long, it was a very popular show. Um, it started as a magazine article somewhere. I don't know what happened. Then it went to radio. Uh, CBS picked it up and it ran for, let me look at my notes, something like 12 years on radio. Yeah, that, CB, it was CBS's answer to Date with Judy. Do you ever remember Date with Judy? I remember the name. I don't remember the, the series. Yeah, so at any rate, it was, it was very popular. It then went to um, television. While, if I'm, if my dates are correct, even while it was still on radio, it was on television. But it went first episodes on television were live television, oh. so I don't think they were recorded. This episode that we're looking at is part of the later uh, filmed series. For yeah, me, yeah the, qual the quality is too good for it to have been. Uh, yeah, oh, it's too good. Time. Plus, I'll show you something in a minute that that is a little secret: how you can tell whether it's the live or the filmed version. When they had the film version, they were able to add little things uh, like cartoon um, characterizations mm. as transitions. And that harkened back to the fact that there were, was even once a Corliss Archer comic book, if you believe that or not. Mm. Um, but it's a cute show. Corliss Archer is, again, a, a nice, clean uh, post-war version <laughs> Of a of a teenager, yeah. and yeah, watch, you know, watch uh, the, all the moms are wearing the moms wearing a dress, and yeah. uh, take a look at uh, if you saw the jeans before the bottom was rolled up, sort of pre yeah. pe uh, uh, pedal pusher uh, capri days. But does they, the uh, word Bobby Soxers come to mind yeah, at all? Uh -huh. Yeah. So yeah. so and I remember I remember kids like this. I mean, yeah, in school at home. Oh yeah, yeah. This uh, is very and, typical. And, She's cute, and her boyfriend Dexter's kind of a, you know, he's a lovable dumbass, <laughs> easily manipulated yeah, by like, his pretty like Archie and Veronica. Yeah, yeah, very similar stuff. Right, but it's a cute little there story. It's not, there's Dexter, and you're right, he does look familiar. I I didn't yeah, Henry, place him. A Henry Aldrich and dozens and dozens of movie appearances that he made in the fifties and sixties. Yeah. 60s. yeah. You know, the only person I recognized when I watched this was the father, yeah, yeah. Uh, John Eldridge. Yep. He was a character actor who always played a banker, a father, some authority figure, and he looks the same. I don't think that guy ever aged. Yep. At any rate, look at the, here's Dexter in a phone booth. Do you remember phone booths? With coins. <laughs> you need a coin. <laughs> With coins and a, and a rotary dial. Listen, it's a I get a big kick out of watching these shows, and the stories are good. The acting is pretty fun, um, and it's only a half-hour sitcom. And How can a, you go? And just another one of the gems on the Vintage Film Channel, uh, yep. either the YouTube version or 
uh, go to uh, vintagefilmchannel.com. And uh, uh, John, John is... Uh, uh, there you go. Now, before we go, oh, take a sure. look at this. Did you see that transition? Mm -hmm. that, was, that was the magic difference between the filmed version and the previous live version. So you know, if I'm you just see... thinking about it. In the early, earliest days of I Dream of Genie, they did the same kind of thing, didn't they? Yes, they uh, did. Wow, yeah, yeah sure. Mm -hmm. You know, one of the things that, that stuck out for me was an interesting is uh, it, that made this show a little bit different is a narrator. There's a narrator. I don't know whether it's supposed to be the father or whatever, but mm -hmm. the narrator is telling us what's going to happen and commenting on it. And Corliss even turns to the camera and talks to the camera at right. one point. So I, I thought those were all made it unique. Um, and I, I loved it. I loved watching it again. I could watch the whole thing, okay. the whole thing again. And, and uh, so we encourage you to go to Vintage Film Channel, but also go to Celebrating Act Two. And normally, um, you know, we have different roles. I do some of the technical stuff post production, uh, but John is normally in charge of groveling uh, to uh, ask you if you like us and you like the series, please uh, click uh, like and subscribe uh, yes. to uh, Celebrating Act Two. So, uh, on yeah. behalf of John and the entire well, staff well, of Celebrating right, Act yeah, Two, okay. I'm going to grovel today, so please oh, like no, no, us because no. we are likable. Oh, I would like to grovel, and it, it, because um, you mentioned that uh, Bobby Ellis was in the Henry Aldridge series, yeah. I, I, I don't, I might, my memory may not be perfect here, but I remember Henry Aldridge or one of those shows. They had a character, and I think it was Bobby Ellis who did it. He had a broken voice. <laughs> oh, Bobby Ellis, and in. I mean, Mr. Aldrich, and I don't... I, so I, I, I wanted to grovel like Henry Aldrich. I can't... Please! I, I can't... I can't Please! Even, you, don't, you don't even let me grovel for you. I mean, always got to be set to stage. Don't let Art grovel. Please subscribe to Celebrating Act 2. Oh, don't make Art grovel. Oh, thank you. Okay. Oh, my groveling days are over. You uh, thank you. Like thank you for joining us this week in the balcony or the basement or wherever we are. We don't even know where we yeah, are. Basement, that's where appropriate. <laughs> and uh, we will look forward to seeing you next week. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.